Hello and welcome to HD Calx. I'm Rick, and in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can use matrices on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. If you don't have one of these calculators but would like one, check the link in the description below. To work with matrices, we'll use the Option key that looks like this, located here, the Alpha key that looks like this located here, the negative key that looks like this located down here, the exit key that looks like this located here, the up arrow or exponent key that looks like this located here, and the F1 through F6 keys that look like this located across the top here. To get started from the main menu, we want to be in the run matrix mode. That's this one here. We can select it and come to this screen here. Now, if we want to enter a simple matrix for a one time use, for example, this A matrix, which is a two by two, or this B matrix, which is also two by two, let's say we want to add them together. What we can do is go F4 so that we see this screen along the bottom and then choose F1 matrix or vector. That'll give us this menu here where we can choose the size of the matrix we want to enter. We want to enter a two by two matrix if we want to start with A, so we hit that. And we see the matrix appear on our screen ready to be entered. Well, we'll start with this, so two, and then use the arrow, not the EXE key, arrow, scroll over, enter the one, scroll down, enter the one, scroll over, enter the one. Now we've entered this A matrix. We'll scroll out of there, and if we're doing A plus B, we'll go plus, and then Enter our B matrix. So again, that's another two by two. And we can go ahead and fill in our matrix. So we go two, scroll over. Now we have a negative one. It's important to use the negative sign here, not the subtraction, the negative. There we go. And then another negative in this position here. There we go, and a two. There we go, we've entered it all. Scroll our cursor out of there and hit EXE. And we solve it and we see we get a two by two matrix for A plus B, which is four, zero, zero, three, which is correct. If we wanna enter a different size matrix, we can choose from along the bottom here. We see we have three by three or an M times N, which allows us to choose the number of columns and rows, as well as a two by one, a three by one, a one by two, and a one by three. But what if we want to enter and save our matrix for multiple calculations? To do this, we go back to our original menu at the bottom with the exit key and then hit F3 for that into matrix vector. That brings up our matrix screen where we can enter matrices that will be saved. We'll enter our first matrix into the matrix A slot. So we just highlight it and select it. It'll ask us what dimensions do we want. Let's go ahead and enter our A and B matrices. So our first one will be matrix A, where we have rows and columns. M is the rows, so we have two rows. And N is the columns. So again, we can enter a two by two, hit EXE. And now we can go ahead and enter our data. So we have a two, 
a one, a one, and a one. There we go, we've got our A matrix entered. If we want, we can add or subtract rows from here where we add or subtract. Let's say we wanted to add a row, we would just hit add and see another row would appear. If we wanted to delete that, we can just hit the delete key there. And then go back with the exit. Again with columns, let's say we had this matrix and wanted to add another column. We just choose F3, column. And if we wanted to add another one, we hit add. Or if we wanted to delete it, we could hit F1, delete. So we've got our A matrix entered. Once we're done, we hit exit and exit again. And now in our matrix menu screen here, we see we have matrix A entered as a two by two matrix. So that means we have that matrix saved. Let's enter our B matrix. Scroll down to B so it's highlighted, hit EXE. And then tell our calculator the dimensions we want, which was a two by two and hit EXE and enter our B matrix. So we go two, negative one, remember the negative key, negative one again, and two. There we go, we've entered our B matrix. When we're done, we can exit. And now we see we have both our A and B matrices saved in our matrix menu. Once we're done entering our matrices, we can go back with the exit key to our main screen here. Now let's say we wanna recall our matrices and work with them. So to do that, we hit the option key and then F2 matrix vector. There we go. And choose matrix with the F1 so that MAT appears. And now we remember our A matrix was saved as A, so we use the alpha key and the A appears there, letting us know we're in alpha mode. And then we hit the key with the red A above it so that we now see matrix A, if we hit EXE, we see we've recalled our matrix A. Let's go ahead and do our matrix A times our matrix B. So again, all we have to do is recall our matrix alpha A times matrix alpha B, hit EXE, and we see we get the result. Our A matrix times our B matrix gives us this matrix here. What if we want to find the determinant of a matrix? Well, to do that, we use the F3 option here. If we want to find the determinant of our A matrix, all we have to do is hit F3 determinant and then choose. F1 for the matrix, and then alpha A, hit EXE, and we see we get the determinant of our A matrix is one. Let's enter a new matrix. Let's enter our C matrix, which is a two by three matrix. Again, to enter our matrices, we can go back to our initial menu here, and then hit F3 to bring up our matrix screen. We'll scroll down to matrix C, which has nothing in it right now. If we hit EXE, we can then tell it we want two rows by three columns. And now we can enter our data. So for our C matrix, we go ahead with one, zero, negative one, 
zero here. And there's already a zero, so we can just scroll past that. Negative one and one. There we go, we've got our C matrix entered. We can go back with the exit key to our matrix menu. And we see now we have a two by three matrix stored in our matrix C slot. And back to the main screen with the exit key. Let's say we want to transpose this C matrix. To get to our matrix functions, again, we hit Option, then the F2, and here we see our matrix functions. And if we want to transpose, we would do F4 ERN. There we go, TRN for transpose. And then we want to do that to matrix alpha C. Hit Enter. And we see we've transposed our two by three matrix into a three by two matrix. What if we want to inverse a matrix? Let's inverse our A matrix. To do that, all we have to do is raise the matrix to the power of negative one. So we start by putting our alpha A matrix on the screen and then using the up arrow for the exponent, and then a negative one, hit exe, and we see our alpha matrix has been inversed. What if we want to work with an identity matrix? Well, to get an identity matrix, all we have to do is scroll over one to this screen, hit identity, and will tell it to find the identity matrix for a two by two matrix. So we just hit two, exe, and we see it gives us the identity of a two by two matrix. If we want the identity of a three by three matrix, again, all we do is hit identity three, exe, and there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.